it can't buy happiness, or can it? Well, if you're stressed out because of your financial situation, then making more money is obviously better than that. But I think beyond a certain point, when, once you've made enough to uh, live a good lifestyle, be able to travel, be able to do things that you enjoy doing, then it gets to a point of diminishing returns. Like, you you know, if you're making millions and millions and millions, like, it just becomes kind of, like, pointless. And the extra work that you would have to do in order to get to that point, is it really worth it to so that you can go around in a private jet? Why do you need that? Is it really necessary? How is that going to buy you happiness? Yeah, it might be a nice thing to have, but... The thing is, is that once you've got the private jet, then, you know, like, it's only going to give you a bit of a, you know, dopamine hit for a while, and then you're probably just going to end up kind of not really appreciating it after a while. So it's fleeting. Any material possessions are all fleeting. What you want to be doing is seeking out experiences, learning new skills, experiencing different cultures, um, forming good quality friendships, not quantity of friendships, but quality friends. That stuff that is going to actually give your life value. Learning things like maybe learning another language, maybe uh, learning martial arts, getting fit, getting in good shape. These are all things that can actually give you value in life. Uh, learning social skills. But beyond a certain point, I don't think money can really buy sustainable happiness anyway. That's just kind of fleeting. And like, it's just kind of diminishing returns. You're going to get most of your happiness just from having a you know, a decent lifestyle, but nothing crazy. Like, you don't need to be going around in a yacht. You don't need to be, you know, getting a private jet. You don't need a mansion. None of that stuff is really that important. People have been sold a lie that that's all they need. And for some people, they feel like, oh, I need to have this Lamborghini so then I can look cool, I can impress people. But why do you need to impress these people? Who cares? Most people don't even care anyway. I mean, is it because you feel insecure that you, you're not good enough by yourself? Do you, do you need all these um, these possessions? As they say, possessions possess you. You, know, you. you keep on spending all this money to buy these things. A lot of people are buying these things on credit. They don't actually own these things and they're renting them. So they're having to keep on paying monthly for it. They're just, you know, they, they stay in the, as a, you know, slave to the system and not actually just living life on their terms. They're working all these extra hours to get more money. But at what cost though? They're selling their soul. So yeah, you might get a temporary buzz from it but you know to sell your soul so overall i don't think it's really going to make you more happy if anything beyond a certain point i think for a lot of people they're actually more miserable a lot of these rich people i think are actually miserable most of the time and uh, let me know what you guys think if you agree disagree maybe you guys have experienced wealth uh maybe you've experienced both ends of it you know tell me what you guys uh think down below so we'll be going live again on Thursday once I come off this uh, this uh, restriction. So I'll also be live on YouTube. I'll put the link, not the link, but the I'll put it down in the in the uh, description J uh, at Jamie Brown 1995. So I'll be on there about uh, 9 p.m. tonight. So all right, take care, everybody. Have a blessed day.